In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to our Sunday celebration. Before we will break the Word of God and share uh, the body of Jesus with each other, sacramentally and spiritually, let us uh, first unite ourselves with those who are suffering from the coronavirus, and their families, and those who help them to go through this uh, dark uh, moment of their life as smoothly as possible. Healthcare workers, authorities of all kinds, who provide uh, everything what is necessary. As we prepare ourselves for this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our failures and ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, when I will open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the, the Lord, Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If, O Lord, you mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their inequities. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Our second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him, but if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also 
through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the resurrection of the light and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, if he dies, will never die. Father, may I have your blessing. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. And after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go back to, Jews, to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you have been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? He said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus returned again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands. His face was wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, two weeks ago we heard about the women at the well. Last week about the man born blind, and today about the rising of Lazarus. A woman goes to a well to quench her thirst and lives with much more than she could even imagine. She is never the same. A blind man, born like that, has sight given to him by a man 
he doesn't even know. And once again, from now on, he is never the same. And today, a man walks out from a tomb in complete disbelief at what had happened. And from now on, he is never the same. The one element present in each of these three stories is an encounter with Jesus that changes everything. For the woman at the well, it is through the profound conversation. For the blind man, it is the healing touch of a stranger. For the dead man, it is a power conveyed through command of a dear friend. Three encounters with Jesus, three unique situations, yet the outcome is ultimately the same. Everything is new, everything is full of hope, everything is full of new possibilities. And that lies at the heart of what land is all about. Though this year we live this land in a complete new way. Not as always, as usual, as we used to do so, because of the outbreak of the coronavirus. All of our pre-planned celebrations are postponed or cancelled. We have to adjust to a new situation and find a new way of living, living our faith better, deeper, and uh, with a passion that allows people to encounter Jesus through us. So, this whole land is all about encountering with Jesus. So, we can accept His grace, but also we can reject it. Be open to His love and mercy or shut the doors so He would not enter into our homes, households, into our hearts. And that, and that takes encountering Jesus, that takes conversing with Him, that takes allowing Him to touch us, that takes allowing Him to speak to us and listening to His voice and responding to it in faith. And the practice of Lent can help us to precisely do that. The journey of these 40 days can help lead us to precisely where we need to be if we let Jesus to guide us. We can finish this land as a better, as a stronger in faith, as a people who are able uh, to face not only coronavirus outbreak, but any challenges of life. The truth is, when we hear Jesus calling for Lazarus to come out, we need to also hear him saying those same words to us, calling out from the tomb, calling us from the darkness, the darkness of our selfishness, the darkness of our resentment and hate, the darkness of our grudges and desires for revenge, the darkness of our prejudices and fears, the darkness of our sins. To the glory of resurrection, to the glory of new life with Jesus. So, brothers and sisters, may we never be the same, not only by the ending of the story uh, of the women at the well, the story of the blind man, and the story of Lazarus. May it also be the ending of each of our stories, this day, this week, this land, and for all time. May God bless you all. Amen.
And now together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now, in faith, let us present to Almighty God our petitions. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all leaders and members of the Church may be graced with the guidance and wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may be helped by God in putting aside selfish agendas and seek justice and equality the people under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are mourning may be consoled by God in their grief and be confident in the hope of resurrection for their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all members of the, this faith community may receive the mercy of God for themselves and with his help to offer to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead and those who have died, that they may know the fullness of life in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those special prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, and only God can hear, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Merciful Father, look kindly on your servants as we present to you these petitions. Through Christ, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless Bless and become for us. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teaching of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man he wept for Lazarus his friend, and as Eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United in love, faith, and hope, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
let us offer each other an appropriate sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for praying with me, and I encourage you uh, to continue your prayers and support each other the way that is safe and secure. May God bless you all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy and grant that what you are prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift. Through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, glorifying the Lord by your light. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.